Hey there, welcome to Oman Monitor. In today's video, I'm going to do this, the Super Sapiens Glucose Monitor. First, I'm going to show you how I apply it and how it measures my glucose. Then I'm going to review it, talk about some problems I had with it. And finally, I'm going to see if I can recommend it. I'm making this video because my friend Connor recommended that I take a look at Super Sapiens. He told me about the glucose monitoring. I was intrigued, so I ordered it, hoping to see if I could get some marginal gains on my fueling strategy. And in this video, I'm gonna try and answer some questions. Does it work? Is it useful? And is it worth getting? So what exactly is it? Well, it's a biosensor made by Abbott. Yes, that Abbott of world marathon fame. And it's about an inch in diameter. It goes onto your arm. It's actually manufactured here in Dublin by Abbott. And um, there's a tiny little filament. There's a flexible filament at the end of the sensor and that goes into your arm and that measures your glucose. So how do you apply it? Well, it's really pretty simple. I'll show a video of me applying it in Berlin. You've got, a, essentially, you've got one vessel which contains it, you, you take off a tab, you stick in the other, plunge it down, then it's in here and you whack it into your arm. It really is quite easy. Um, it's best on the back of the arm where your skin is flabby. I sort of put it once or twice uh, closer to the muscle and that was, well, I mean, it was a bit irritating, slightly irritating, mild, mildly irritating. I won't go overboard on this. Uh, overall, it's pretty painless, and if like me, you don't mind injections, it's absolutely no bother putting it into your arm. So here I am in the hotel in Berlin before the off, and I'm unpeeling the pack with the uh, sensor in it, and then unscrewing the applicator, and then I'll go looking for a hard surface. You line one up against the other. It's very easy to do. There's guides on them, and then you line one up against the other, get a hard surface to plunge and there we go it's plunged and then I'm going to look for uh, a soft fleshy spot on the back of my arm to apply it so you can see I'm literally trying to find a clean soft spot and then uh, whack and it's in that's the white sensor on my arm so does it work technically well it pairs fairly easily to an app on my iphone again there's an android version i presume and uh, you tap the phone against the sensor it's it's again it's a little bit awkward to get the exact piece you put the camera over it but um a couple of goes and it seems to work and then it takes 60 minutes to warm up once that happened i got very reliable data onto my phone it was always reliable always tracking um are they accurate? Well, I don't know. I mean, I, I presume they are. They're made by Abbott. Uh, the, the sensor is made by Abbott. And it definitely did track when I was eating and using energy. So yeah, it uh, works technically. I hope to find a few things out um, by using the biosensor. One, how soon before a marathon I should eat, what gap between eating and, and, and starting to run. And hopefully I was trying to find out how often I should eat during a marathon, whether there was a way of telling exactly when I should eat. So uh, I got onto a conversation with one of the sales reps from Super Sapiens, and he said it's it's not directly linear and, and it won't answer that as, as cleanly as you might like, but that it would help me avoid making bad choices in my nutrition strategy. And I thought that was fair enough. The app is simple to use. It shows the rise and fall in your glucose as you eat and as you exercise. There are two zones. There's a perform and recover zone, a red and a blue. I'll show them here. Effectively, they're showing the same data, highlighted slightly differently. And then you log a rush where your, your glucose goes up, or you might log an event like running. There's lots of data and lots of data analysis to be done. This screen grab is from my Mac on the same day as the last iPhone screenshots, August 7th of this year, when I went out and I ran for two hours, about 25K, and I took a gel every half an hour deliberately trying to figure out what I could figure out on this. You can see this peaks in the morning after food and typically after food is a peak and you log the food as an event and uh, again you can see the same during the run and you'll see more data down here. Also there's a sort of overview so this is the overview page. I don't know you can see a big gap where I don't have the data and various other screens you're trending rushes, food, mood, movement, other so you have to log as you go along the system learns you and you learn it and in that way it's very interactive it takes a lot of work and then there's a sort of page here you can see it says six sensors used 46 days on sensor it should have lasted 84 days but for problems that i'll come on to but there's a lot of data to analyze is it worth buying well it costs a lot and i had some technical problems it costs 443 euro and 10 cent for 10 weeks and i got a free sensor because i said i needed to cover the period of the berlin marathon they threw in the performance patches free. They should have thrown those in the bin. I'll get to those. They're complete garbage. 
Um, it's expensive and I didn't really get 10 weeks out of it, but it's not without its uses. The first problem I got was I couldn't pair it to my Garmin 955 Solar. I had bought the Super Sapiens, they, they say they integrate with Garmin, which they do, but they only integrated with the Garmin 945. I had to go a lot of online searching. I found a support group on Facebook. I contact support services and they found a workaround, but it should really work with the latest version of the Garmin watch. Problem two, before I went to Berlin, I got a warning from Super Sapiens not to download and install iOS 16 because they hadn't got the technical issues sorted out with Apple as of that date. And that's very frustrating when you're, you're trying to use the latest technology and you can't use the latest Garmin and you're getting message about it's not supported with iOS 16. It is now, but it wasn't then. Um, that's kind of irritating. It looks like they don't have enough technical resources to support the product. Problem three, the performance patch is useless. Uh, this is what it is, it's a little ring that sits over the sensor on your arm. They fall apart. I mean, I've got various ones in various states of, of falling apart. Um, you can see it literally just pulls apart like that. It, it, it's cheap, nasty, and basically doesn't work. If you are going to get Super Sapiens, buy yourself a cheap strap on Amazon. They're about 10 bucks. I wish I'd known this in advance, and I wish Super Sapiens had said this. Um, but the performance patch, this thing looks good new, but it's incredibly badly designed and uh, they should not be selling it. Problem four, well, the sensor is supposed to last for two weeks. It's supposed to stay in your arm. It sticks, there's a, there's a uh, sort of like a double-sided tape, sticks to your arm, but it falls out fairly easily. I got two weeks out of it once or twice. Most times it fell out fairly early on. In the Berlin Marathon, you see the video of me putting it on, it fell out after after I, maybe I got 10K out of it, which was very annoying. Um, if you look at Kipchoge in the pictures, he's got one under his sleeve because he's one of the, uh, I suppose, the people they sponsor. But in lots of the adverts, you see him running around and lots of people running around without any protective cover. And it should work, but it doesn't. Problem five. Well, not all the sensors lasted for two weeks. One of them cut out after a day and said it had expired. And it's, I've got to get back onto Super Sapiens. Maybe they'll send me another one. But there was a lot of problems with the system. Should you buy Super Sapiens? Well, if you have very deep pockets, then maybe. If you get a lot of data and a lot of careful data analysis, it might provide you with marginal gains. Even over the 10 weeks I did, and a lot of it was disrupted, it would be very hard. I think you would need to use it for half a year or so to get any meaningful value out of the product. And that would be very expensive. Super Sapiens looks like a big shiny front window store with a tiny back room. There's lots of videos of guys in black talking about how it works, lots of sexy graphics, lots of all that stuff. But when it comes down to supporting a watch and the phone, it looks like they don't have the resources in place. If they did, it's not a bad product. If you were able to, it's expensive. So if you could afford it, then over a long period of time and with very careful analysis, you might get something out of it. Certainly if you're a professional athlete and your sponsors, it would be well worth having. But for me, it was a lot of money and not particularly useful. Not many marginal gains and significant financial pains. I hope you enjoyed the video and found it useful. If you did, it'd be great if you did the like button. As always, there'll be lots of stuff in the links below and I'll happily answer any questions that you put into the comments. There'll be a big blue subscribe popping up there and some related videos there. Thanks for watching. Until the next video, just keep running along.